Okay, folks, Bob McCarthy here, Super Mega Fest, October 2017, with one of my great friends that we know very well, Tugboat the Shockmaster, here at this great event. How you like coming back to Massachusetts, brother? I love it, brother. I love it when it's up here, and it's nice outside, crisp. You know, us big boys, we like it a little cool. You know, I sweat swimming. But it's nice, man. A lot of good fans. Uh, I've signed a lot of different stuff today, a lot of figures. I've signed some uh, 8x10s, did some photo ops and stuff like that. It's been nice. Got a great group of guys here. You got Demolition over here to my left. You got Uncle Nikolai over here. You got my boy down there. Ho! Yeah. Okay, and Mick Foley. Yeah. I mean, you got a great card here, just local, what we're doing. You got more ears than him. Oh. Be nice to my no, boy. I, I know. I'm only kidding. You know, Mick's an awesome guy. Uh, let me ask you something. You started off as Big Steel Man. How did the concept of Tugboat get created? Was that your idea? Was it Vince McMahon's idea? It's a Vince McMahon idea. It's all about merchandising, my friend. All about merchandising. Uh, when I came in, Big Steel Man, I came from Florida. And I came up to uh, my first six or eight months was uh, with uh, Slickster as my manager until, you know, uh, uh, they could come up with the gimmick, you know, and they came to approach me and they said, you know, what do you think about this tugboat gimmick? Because you got to like what they give you. You know, if you don't, it's useless. And, um, you know, I get to be a cross between Popeye and Brutus and one character. I'm on board. Hey, it's awesome. Yeah, they did the same thing uh, with Earthquake. He got managed by Slick and they have the dark matches and that's maybe something that might get released. Where you, so you were big steel man managed by Slick and you were heel when you did the dark match tryouts? Exactly. When I was uh, working as Big Steel Man down in the Florida office, Diamond Dallas Page, before he became a wrestler, was my manager, him and Sir Oliver Humperdinck. And uh, working in the office down there with Dusty and everybody. And then I got the call. I went over to uh, Graz, Austria at, with Big Otto Vance to work over there for 10 days against him in the championship match. And when I came back, they go, WCW and WWF is e interested in you. And next thing you know, I'm... Uh, you know, you know, but you got to they sat down with me and they were great and everything. And you got to make that choice. And the choice I made was, you know, going up and taking rolling the dice and hoping I was good enough to be part of the card, you know, for WWF. I wanted to ask you about Dusty, um, how big he was uh, influential in your career and, uh, and, and and how he helped you out. Well, you know, Dusty was very influential, influential in my career. But uh, I was a big fan. I've been, you know, a fan of wrestling before I became a wrestler. Became a wrestler, and I still am an avid fan and watch many of the different programs and different companies. I like to see young talent. Like I, I go to a lot of independent shows that are in the Florida area around me, so because I, I enjoy the business and I like seeing the business. Guys come up and they ask me different questions and stuff. Young guys, you know, and try and be as honest with them. You know, it's only my opinion. And my opinions, you know, opinions are like buttholes. Everybody's got one and some of them stink, you know. So I says, this is how my feeling is. You make your decisions. It's good to look at a lot of different styles, you know, to, uh, be, you know, you learn and train to wrestle. But all during your career, you're in a constant learning curve. You're still learning to the day that you, uh, you know, retire from this business. It's one of those kind of deals. Yeah, and and we all know about the shock master, and you came in there, and the situation yes. there. You know, you you've, you've elaborated on it many times, uh, but they made the transition. Oh, look, look, look! Wow, look at that! It's you get bad then, but it's very nice now. Wow, and they get you tipped over and everything, oh, huh? And they have the whole. Wow. Thing. You didn't know it was a break. No, dancer. I didn't know there was a I your break dancer. I could spin on my head. That's me. That right. that's incredible. That's right. Shock master boogaloo. <laughs> and, and you can see the helmet right here. I'm surprised that the Star War Lucas didn't come after you for this, right? No? It wouldn't come after me. It would come after uh, WCW. Now, now, what they did was, they, because they ran with it, they made you Uncle Fred. Now, you, what, what, what was that? I mean, you, you think they couldn't come up with something more creative than that? And then they made you trip and everything? I mean, you think they could have just went with they a they different plan B? I tripped on my own. Okay. You know, <laughs> uh, not that I'm not normally tripping a lot, but I mean, it's, you know, one of those deals. Yeah. I've only got two or three brain cells left up in this noggin. Yeah. It's like a maraca up there. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it, it, it is what it is. I always, even though it, with the adversity and the, and the thing that happened, it was embarrassing the night it happened, but I've embraced it. I always tell people when they come up and they ask about it, I'm like, you watch the video. You're having a bad day, watch my video, and you have a good day at my expense. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And uh, there's no more big, huge tag teams anymore like the Natural Disasters. I think you and Earthquake are the last two big guys, like really, really big guys that, you know, how'd you feel about that? A great, you know, team you guys. Well, 
I love my, that's my brother from another mother. The thing is with, uh, you know, the big tag team, I mean, there's some big guys out there. There's some really, really big guys out there. You got, you got, Von Stro you got Stroman out there. I mean, you know, Big Show's still out there and working great. I mean, they got some up and coming talent. Like nowadays, okay, the independent circuit across the world is the territories. Like back in the day when I started in this business, I wrestled in territories. Just like all the guys that are here that you see. And, you know, everywhere you could go. You could go to Europe, you could go, you know, to uh, Great Britain, you know, all, all those different countries there. There was people working there. You could go to South America, you could go to Mexico, you could go to Hawaii. Like a, go a family vacation and get and work while you're there. Yeah. <coughs> so it's one of those deals. Now with the independence, especially, it costs a lot to go to to watch a WWE show or to watch you know Ring of Honor or one of these other places. You know, these companies are coming up. You got Lucha Underground, which is a great great show. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of different stuff that's out there, yeah. and um, <coughs> it's an affordable way to watch future stars doing what they do best and and uh, you know and seeing a good show guys working their butts off not making a lot of money but definitely putting paying their dues and, and doing what they need to do to be in this business. Well see I'm an old school fanatic and I used to read all the magazines in the 80s and now we get to watch all that on YouTube like the stuff you yes. did in Florida and everything. Now it's all on you couldn't watch it, it back in the 80s. Now it's all on YouTube. You can watch a world class championship wrestling and the NWA and all that great stuff and all your memories now are you know on there for everybody to watch your whole entire career on the internet. Well that's the thing with the internet the the event of the the internet has brought all these things that you can watch. You can watch ja Japan. You can watch stuff from Europe. You can watch stuff from all of here in the United States. It's one of those kind of deals that's just incredible. You know, I mean, it's a great, great, great thing. All right, that's awesome. I don't want to take your time too much longer. Looks like they're giving me the cutoff. All right, folks, right here, the one and only Tugboat.